Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Primo Times and it's uh, Phil here, your host of Primo Times. I apologize for not wearing my official Primo Times blue shirt, but it's unavailable today. And it's in the laundry basket. So what we're going to get on with today is a very basic but uh, uh, required project. We're going to get at the technical wall and uh, see what we can take down off of that without breaking anything or hurting anything too badly. Let's go back and take a look, see what's there. Oh, and something I, I forgot, I should tell you right away that uh, financially it looks like things are pretty much repaired or on the fix. My uh, works insurance has uh, come through they uh, have decided to uh, begin paying me again. So, uh, you know, I'm still trying to do projects. I have a lot to do here in the ambulance before the winter gets really bad, which is uh, uh, coming very soon. At any rate, so financially, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure for a place to live. Food, I can uh, feed Oliver. Uh, the only trick is I do need to keep buying the, the best quality components that I can for the ambulance to keep the build going. So please take a look down below. There's some options if you would like to uh, help out the Primo Times ambulance project. That would be truly amazing. Thank you. And if I could jump through the screen and, and shake your hand or, or put my hand on your shoulder and say thank you. And if you're old fashioned, I might even give you a hug. But any of the newer people today, you can't hug because then you go to jail for stuff. Anyhow, uh, let's get at this wall. And I can actually sit on this, uh, this black thing here. That's what I'm doing. That's where I'm sitting. So what we're concerned about is this rack right up here. That is where they used to put the surgical gloves. So uh, where am I? Small, medium, you know, large, all that kind of stuff. We'll open that up and take a look. Then the other thing is I want to get this blue thing off the wall for the uh, suction device. And then there is an oxygen thing on the wall right here. Let's take that off and this electrical panel we're going to take a look behind that because there's a couple of things there I need to keep and there's several things that can come off. So uh, let's start big. Let's go up and look at this uh, metal thing here first. All right. I hope you can see everything. So let's pop this down. Now, uh, okay. Well, I have some concerns. So here's what I'm looking at. This is the main cabinet. As you can see, it's held on by some simple Phillips screws. But my concern is, is it part of the structure? Because there's holes here. I don't know what for. All right, um, well, let's, uh, let's bring this down, see what's behind it, um, see what's going on. I have this extension, if you can see, and it sort of wobbles around a bit. It has some axes to it, and uh, it may take off these lower ones on this uh, panel because I can't get the drill in there very well. I'll have to press hard, and uh, I'll do the close one right here, so maybe you can see that first. I'll turn you a bit. And, yes, it's in. Yes, it came out and didn't strip. All right, good. And I have some, some bad news that I'm visually seeing here. It looks like around the seam, they've covered it in uh, silicone. I think that's going to have to stay in place. If it does have to stay in place. Um, 
that's really not so bad uh, because it's inset. It's very structural. It's not in the way of anything because the Murphy bed is going to come up, uh, you know, to about that height. So, yeah, well, I'll continue and we'll see what uh, is going on here. But we may have to take just this door off at the hinges. I don't know. Let's keep going. See what we get. It's not falling. Yeah, okay, well, um, think quick. All right, that's not going anywhere. I don't really want to rip at the silicone. There's no need to do that right now. So what we're going to do, if you can see these hinges, let's take this door off at the hinges from this plate. That'll get rid of this door and just leave this structurally in place. Okay? Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. If you disagree, please pop a note in the comments below and let me know if you think I should take that off and really see what's behind or maybe cover it with something else. But for now, um, I'm just going to pop the door off. I'll put these other screws back on. We'll go from there. It's down. Um, why is everything in this ambulance so heavy? My gosh. All right, well, um, good, okay. <laughs> That's off. Let me uh, pop this outside. Just give me a second. All right, uh, well, let me see. I don't know. Let me just pop one of these back in and see what that looks like to see if I should leave these in place. Well, yeah, I might put them in place just to give them a place to be. And the other thing is if I want to mount or hang something from there, then, you know, they're already there.
Excellent, excellent. All right. Now, once again, you're mounted to that uh, cage thing right here, the uh, mesh net. So I hope you don't bounce around too much. All right. Uh, looks like uh, two Phillips screws. Okay, so it has a power wire for the charging unit, for the suction unit, because they could take it into how uh, homes help with patients they needed. So there's a uh, power line here. Now here's the good thing. This power line I can absolutely use for anything else that I want to, because it goes back to that power cabinet on the side. So we could absolutely keep this and use it in the future. No reason why not. So I'm going to disconnect it here with one hand, maybe, am I? Yep, there we go. And what I'll probably do is just tape this to the wall to make sure it doesn't get lost in behind the, uh, the wall. There we go. I found some, uh, some white Gorilla tape. How perfect. All right, let's just tape that on the wall right there. And if you have any ideas of what I could uh, connect to this later in that position uh, against the wall, then uh, just let me know. So uh, it's looking a little better, sort of. I'll have to wipe down the inside of this uh, panel system. I've wiped down most of the wall, but I didn't obviously get in there. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, oxygen. It looks like two Phillips screws. This one may be tough to get to. Uh, let's give it a go. I might have to use an old fashioned screwdriver. Okay, at least it's coming off easy. That's a long screw. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try the bottom one. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Now, I have no idea if I need to save this or not. Um, this tube coming out of the wall for the oxygen feed, I don't know. I don't really think it's of any use to me. Wow. And this is a good chance for uh, you and I to see the insulation for real. So you can see it on the inside here. Panel insulation. So there's uh, power to something. Nice cable. And here's the oxygen feed. So... Yeah. There's... Absolutely, there's nothing I can use that for. Nothing. I, I'm trying to think before I cut the tips off of this. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I should really save these two endings. Uh, and what I might do just for now is uh, leave those in place. 
but I, I can't imagine. Even water, I could I could feed water through these if I had to. Um, but I, I just can't imagine why. I don't need it. The kitchen would be right behind me and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. I, I honestly, I, I can't imagine uh, what to do with these. I'm just going to uh, cut them off close here. Bring this one through the wall, the bottom one. And then maybe tape them together and uh, just leave them outside the wall for now. But honestly, I think they're going to get they're going to get pushed back in. Because I, I won't need them for anything. No. So, um, yeah, let me uh, cut these off close to the ends and uh, do that up. Alright. Yeah, that's very, very good tubing. Okay. The meter's off. The top piece is the electrical control. Uh, reading lights, cabinet lights, the patient lights, and an emergency button over here to press to signify to the driver that the patient is uh, in really bad condition and you need to speed up. Here is a volume control for the speaker that's above the seat. But uh, that's for the radio, for the paramedic radio, but again, I won't be needing that. So. This piece can come off, the volume speaker can come off. This is the former controller to the, to the inverter, but the inverter was removed before I got the ambulance. So this control is uh, not for me. I, I don't need it, that can come out. So remove, remove, or just leave this in place for the moment. Remove this, and this is a 12-volt power outlet. I'll certainly be leaving this in place for either 12-volt socket use, or we could simply replace that with a USB charger or something. So um, what I'll do is remove the screws for the items we know we're taking off, and then we may have to take off the main plate screws too. We'll find out. Uh, let's get at that. Well, that was simple, and it's just connected by a uh, communication cable, like a LAN cable. So uh, again, that can stay in place for the moment. It's a, a lot of stuff going on in there. Oh, here's a spare uh, a spare set of wires behind here too, and uh, some connectors. All right. So we can undo uh, the heater control. So I may may be able to use that on the other side. Do, 
So there's the heating control and uh, I'm going to keep this and I've uh, written down all the wire combinations. I can put this plate back in place and tuck these wires uh, back up into the wall here. Well, for the moment, I think that's going to be it. The, uh, the wall is, is cleaned up. I think it's functionally ready for, you know, anything else I do to it. Uh, I'll be cleaning up here and uh, wiping down different surfaces where they're now available, where components were removed. But I think that was a good little project for today. We've got that done. It's something I've been wanting to get done. And, uh, we're going to move on to some fun new things coming up in the very short future. Folks, I want to thank you very much once again for joining me here on Primo Times with the adventures of my modifying and changing ambulance. Every couple of days it uh, makes a different, uh, has a different look to it anyhow, every, every now and then. So I'm going to do some uh, wiping down of surfaces here. Thanks again. Please check out the description below. Help out my, uh, my project if you can at all. And pass on the links to my channel to your friends. And uh, let them know what you waste your time with. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Take care, and I love you all.